Liverpool were a largely frustrated entity in their first half and resorted to shoots from a distance. Alexis McAllister, Darwin Nunes, and Luis Diaz all tried their luck, but none hit the mark, either going wide or straight at Neto. Club's half-time team talk seemed to have worked wonders as Liverpool came out of the brick firing on all cylinders. The Bournemouth backline was left wide open when Diogo Jota slipped it through to Nunes and the Uruguayan composed himself and side-footed it past the keeper. Connor Bradley nearly had his first goal for Liverpool after a ball fell to him from a corner and while his strike looked destined to squeeze past Neto, the goalkeeper somehow fought through a crowd of bodies to keep the scoreline as just the solitary goal. On the 17th minute, Liverpool doubled their lead. Nunes fought for a loose ball and it was substitute Cody Gakpo who gathered it and put Jota through on goal. The angle was against the winger with a defender closing him down, but it didn't make a difference to him as he placed it in at the near post. Ten minutes later, the Portuguese forward had his second. A ball came into the box and when his initial miscue faked out the defenders, he used the distraction to punch and fire it in across the keeper. David Brooks had a chance to salvage some honor for the Sun side when he was through one-on-one -on -one with Allison, but his attempted chip ran well wide off the post. Liverpool were still hunting for more in stoppage time and were rewarded for their efforts. Gomez whipped in an excellent ball and Nunes got between the two Bernamont defenders stretching for the ball ahead of them hitting it off the post and over the line to round off the victory. Liverpool traveled to Craven Cottage next in the second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final and after cruising past Bournemouth today, they will be full of confidence. Bournemouth will be disappointed with the lack of fight shown in Sunday's encounter and will want to put that right as they host Swansea in the FA Cup fourth round.